Disclaimer. I am not a mechanic, AMP, AMT, AME. I am not a CFI, CFII. I think you get the point. If you have any questions, concerns, or etc., seek the advice of experts. I am a private pilot who owns a plane and is trying to give back to the aviation community by sharing my own experience in aircraft ownership. Please refer to your aircraft's POH as every aircraft is different. And remember, we're all in this together, so be safe out there. All right, guys, so I just got finished uh, re-upping my night currency. For those who do fly at night, um, one of the biggest things is being able to see inside your cabin to make sure that you're able to manage your instruments and to uh, find anything that's lost behind your seats. But uh, <laughs> having visibility in the cabin without causing night blindness is key. Um, no pun intended. So. I'll show you a simple trick, something that I did to make this uh, cabin shine without blinding me. So what you need is USB cable, one of these little project boxes, and an extension. So pretty much what this is, is if you open it up, you can see that uh, there's a potentiometer right here. It could be pretty much any value because what you're ultimately driving is LED lights here. It's an LED strip that I'll show you. Um, so this is the back, I just took it off there, and this is the extension that the LEDs will plug into. And then this part here will plug into either your cigarette lighter, uh, USB cigarette lighter adapter, or a lot of times I just plug it into a power bank. Um, since these are low draw LEDs, they'll last for ever a lot longer than you're able to fly in one day. So what this potentiometer does is it adjusts the brightness of the LED strip, right? So again, this hooks into your uh, battery or your adapter, goes into the potentiometer, and then this end connects to the actual LED strip because when you get the LED strip, it'll have just a normal connector on there. So you can, of course, put this directly in, just the LED strip right in the power bank or right in the um, cigarette lighter adapter. However, if you want to control the brightness, which I recommend, definitely spend the time and money, which this is extremely inexpensive, um, more or less just time involved to get one of these potentiometers in one of these boxes here. Um, I jazzed mine up a little bit, although I never use it like this. If I want to stick it under my dash, this little box here, um, what I can do is I can just put, peel these strips off, and once I do that, you can see it's the hook and loop tape there. I can take this box off and on. Uh, this isn't a permanent fixture in the cabinet uh, because the LED strips have an adhesive backing, so if you screw up and you misplace or you just want to take it off, all you have to do is just peel it off. So. I'm going to show you the LED strips right now, and then I'll we'll turn them on for you. Alright, I'm going to try my best to show you the strips, but uh, this is my little uh, flashlight there. This was in another video if you want to check that out, my flashlight recommendations. But as you can see, it's just an LED strip right here, and it just adheres by adhesive all the way to the end of my dash right there. And you can actually cut this stuff. So you can get it many different lengths and cut it off. It'll be little areas um, where it's indicated by little scissors and a line where you can cut it to any length that you have. So that's how I was able to get this to match exactly, oh my light just died, uh, match exactly to my dash. The last thing I'm going to show you, like I said before, is the end. The end's just a normal USB plug, so it runs off of 5 volts there. And you can run it again off of a cigarette lighter adapter, if you can see it down there. My iPhone's plugged into that. Um, or a 5 point or 5 volt power bank. Um, even the cheapest ones will last for hours and hours, because there's hardly no draw on here. So what I'll do is I will start the LEDs up for you, and I'll cycle it through, and you can see what this looks like.
so this is my amazing drawing of how this is actually connected up if you do want to use a potentiometer. Like I said, you can pretty much choose any value. Um, the only difference is, is how quickly it'll dim. So this is the USB. This is what you would hook up into your power bank um, or your adapter that's uh, in your cigarette lighter. And both of these Cables will have a black and red um, wire on there. So what you would do is you would take the black wire, connect it to the first post there, black wire of the USB extension, second post there, and then you just connect the red. Uh, what I would do is I would probably put a zip tie, at least that's what I did with mine, a small zip tie, um, right when those... Uh, USB cables enter there so it doesn't back out of the project box. And then if you notice, I put some hot glue just uh, right over here, uh, right across here and right there. Um, and then, you know, I soldered that and put hot glue there. So basically I put a ton of hot glue on there and that's just to protect shorts. Uh, I don't want anything shorting out. It is five volts. But still, I just want to make sure that it doesn't short out. And then also, it adds a little bit of strength. So again, if it falls out or it falls down this box, it doesn't pull these wires out and add extra stress to it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them on the co comments below there. I'll add the links. And if you like this video, if you want me to keep doing these videos, just do the little thumbs up deal. Uh, it makes a difference, apparently. So... Have a good one and stay safe out there.